G'day and welcome back to our EU4 Ostenders campaign. So we are playing as Austria and trying to head eastwards as quickly as we can. So I'm just going to apologize in advance. I'm feeling really sick this week and it's going to come through in this video quite a bit uh, with the sniffing and the coughing and whatnot, but um, it's proving hard to shake. So <clears throat> our situation at the moment is we have no manpower. We're very negative. And what's our fleet situation? Seven trade ships. All right, so we'll leave them doing their thing. And we're just trying to fabricate claims. We're waiting for the 30 years war to begin. I think we got rid of one. Oh God, there's a sin of reformation down there in our territory. All right. Um, <clears throat> can't get rid of either of these because they're both free cities with people that we can't attack as allies. Come on, see the Ottomans. That's the other problem. <clears throat> All right, Bud Vice has converted. Can we actually do any others? Holstein, when it's a core. Otherwise, only one Protestant. All right. Let's see, Hess is going to be converted soon. It's unfortunate. Um, hopefully, Leipzig can flip that if they get an event. And we have some corruption. Oh, that's not cool. <clears throat> the planet have recovered. They are Catholic. Hansbach are probably going to flip as well. Okay, well, we can't pass any more reforms even if we wanted to, because the next one's Ewiger Landfrieder, which would disallow our wars, which we certainly don't want to do until we've flipped everybody back to Catholic. Uh, technology we can't do until we can afford to embrace colonialism, which is going to be some time. And I guess we go and convert Dalmatia. Perfect. We'll get rid of that center of reformation. 50 months. Um, Dalmatia. That's coming down surprisingly well. Mostly autonomy increase. Okay. Isn't quite far. Just gives up some cash. <laughs> Stuck right in the middle of Akoyunlu. Oh yes, and they've finally gone to war with the Mamluks. Because they've gone through Karaman. Right, well, innovativeness, can't do anything about talking about that. Provincial unrest, yeah, they are okay. Uh, the estate situation. Bring us down to speed three while we take a look at it. K is the shortcut now. Um, burgers. We can do now. Okay. So grant monopoly charters. <clears throat> and we just take the 50 points. Uh, if we send an emissary to the Pope, it would be a loss because we're still excommunicated. And there's nothing else we can do to get the extra points though, so... 67, still don't. Um, half price, skill 3, missionary strength for 150 points. Nobility, 42, well, we have to do that for the um, loyalty. I guess we'll grant another generalship. 70, 87, demand the 150. Our cap is 13, 14, so that's fine. <clears throat> and 6, 10, and 11. We're focused on military because we're furthest behind military tech, so that seems okay. Uh, we're not going to do any more conquests for a while. We're not going to build any improvements because we're going to try and get the mission to build the treasury now, so we need 2,000 ducats. Then we'll get our yearly inflation reduction to help deal with this. And then we'll also turn on the uh, anti-corruption thing to bring that down. Alright, now, look up. Bring him back, and Genoa fabricate for Palmer. Cool, this is one that we'd want to do right now, actually. We also want to do Mantua. Guaranteed by Savoy. Allied with France, All right, so we wouldn't do that. He is guaranteed by Tuscany here. 
we've got our people in position. I guess we might as well just do this one now. When we have a diplomat. Alright, Tuscany. It's guaranteeing Luca. He has allied with Milan. <clears throat> Would be an opportunity to take some Milanese land. We're not fabricating on Milan at the moment. Alright, um, we did just pick up an extra leader though. Let's put the 2-5 up there. We'll come down to Luca. Declare war, Cabalidrize Tuscany. Not call anybody in. Confirm that. Go and destroy them. Tuscany are honoured. And he gets out in time. By day. Could go straight to the hills. I think we would rather chase him <clears throat> and then come back. Alright, then we have to wait for Milan to come in as well. Destroyed that army. Morocco cedes a few to Castile and a few to Portugal. Which means we could call in England and Castile. I'm not going to do that. Alright, wrecked that army. Uh, we'll drop out three guys on the way past. Milan have honoured. And he's getting out by a day as well. Alright, he's going to Myland. Try and catch him there and then come back. And really quickly, put some other music on. And we're. What was that one? Okay. Did forget to do this on the way past. Can't get around there. Well, let's pop a couple in here, block that off. Lithuanian separatists are in the mill. <clears throat> that is annoying. We'll deal with that later. Alright, take another Ezo. <clears throat> Didn't see if we actually killed them. Looks like we did not. They're going that way. Um. Let's just go take the capital. <clears throat> so I don't think we'll be able to actually take it anyway. How is our aggressive expansion? Oh, it's kind of low. Big over that end. So we want to probably stick down this way. We're taking Milan. 22 development province. It's going to be rough. He's non co belligerent, so I don't think we will take that. Might just convert his religion. We still need to do Mantua. Allied with the Pope and Augsburg. He's allied with the Pope as well. Augsburg is Catholic. <clears throat> Pope is also allied to Brabant. Yeah, maybe. We didn't want to take Naples. I don't think we want to start messing with the Pope though. We do want to mess with France. So, fabricate a claim. We can only do them up here. I think Aretha Loire. Um, we don't care too much. If it's our allies, good for us. Don't care if uh, they take the French land instead of us too much. I'd love to get Paris though. <laughs> and Milan's swept around there instead of going for stuff that he can take. So let's uh, start wandering up that way. Yeah, we'll stay there. This won't take too long. We're one friends. It won't take too long. <laughs> that was just artillery. And Saxony has been annexed by Unholt of all people. We do want the prince to return, so we demand Fogland, because then Turingen might release itself as Turingen. We've taken Brescia, Armour is accepted, let's come back to Saxony. Doesn't have a fantastic opinion because we're excommunicated, but let's just keep it simple and put him back as an elector. 
Now, out of interest, we're at six out of seven. Raw marriages with Brandenburg and Lorraine. Von Habsburg is there. Lorraine is a regency for the Grammo. How old was the new Saxon? 64. Well, <clears throat> they've accepted Austria takes Pisa. Yes, I just want to do this before. No, there we go. Good thing didn't waste it. Alright. So, first things first. We have no claims on Tuscany. It would be terrible to take it all. These two are important for trade. Haven't even looked at that new system yet either. They're level twos, whatever that means. If you hate Denmark, Lithuania, it's December now, so Denmark wouldn't even actually be on there. Take their cash. And take some war apps. Where am I looking? Yeah. Um, his religion, we'd have to take less. No, I think we just want to take these. Get rid of his guarantee on Milan. Alright, and then Luca is nice and weak. We need to do Milan first. So, force their religion, take some more reps, take some money, access, 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 nothing matters there, revoke his core on Parma, send that, and you know what, might as well stay down here. Alright, and then Luca. Um, this one, we're just going to force religion. Get rid of that center of reformation. Take war reps, take cash. Null guarantee from Tuscany and the Alliance. Shorter peace deal. Alright, another center of reformation dead. We're getting rid of that one. And there's only three, is that right? Ooh, England's going Anglican. Alright, seems like a plan. So these guys now will not be allowed through there at all. So this is going to be an issue. And can't go to war. Actually, Lithuania, when can we do them? We could do them now. Alright, so I'm going to build up a spy network on Lithuania. And I'm going to have two armies up there ready to go so that we can get through to these separatists. Corruption is growing. Some of our provinces like cause. Alright, two more provinces isn't too bad. Papal State is going to attack Tuscany. Okay. Mamluks said, yeah, it's not good. Pope has excommunicated Luca. Uh, Ottomans just took that chunk. Portugal is a great power. Where are we in the list? Uh, wrong one. We are second behind the Minge. And the Babel Conquest. Should be able to do that easily, since we've destroyed their army for them. 12, 4 and 6. 18, 3 and 4. Well, I think they're okay like that. Uh, we can go and do the other Claim on Cumbrai. Access from the Pope. Yes. And the Pope is old. He's 79. And we, I think, have the best chance. 18%. Hmm. Poland. Allied with Savoy, are they? Are they actually allied? 
Lithuania, Pomerania, Savoy. We've got Brandenburg and Poland. Thirteen years until we can do, we can do anything about that. <clears throat> Tuscany has been full of X. That was quick. All right, big old blobby pope down there. And Poland. Oh, Russia's in there as well. They're guaranteed by Russia. Reforma seeks a refuge. Poland don't like it. Let's go ahead and convert Faxon. So I need to look for a way to get into Nuremberg. Don't have an official faith, so we can't do that. Lorraine and Nassau. Nope, can't remember where. Nassau's in there. Alright, there's no way we can get into them. Harkin, Nuremberg, yeah, it's a nightmare of alliances. They're allied with Savoy, I think we'll just leave everyone in line for a bit. Excess from Augsburg and Denmark. Well, did have a quick look. Sweden are under 50% again. And the Lithuanian separatists are back. <clears throat> Denmark asked us for access though, so he might come down and deal with that for us. Can we just get quick access through here? Alright. I'm going to knock these guys off. And the quizzes on 7, so we're all good there. If we weren't excommunicated, we'd be on the plus 40 from them. Alright, we'll stop in Mamel since he's walking off. And Lithuania. What am I looking for? Fabricate claim. On Brasta. Now, Russia. <clears throat> I really don't think we want to take on. Hmm? Bakatashi heretics. Never heard of them. Um, I mean, they'd be a great ally against the Ottomans. Let's try and swing that now while we've got the opportunity. Alright, now we should be able to take care of that. To nope, got him on the way. All right, so back down to bells and Florence and Pisa could be a problem. I think as long as we got these guys here, we should be good. So, Thomas rebel suppression there. Thirteen, thirteen, yeah. Marriage offer from Russia, we accept. And they have a regency at the moment, so I don't know, could get some weird luck there. Cores are going to be done in just over a year. We have some manpower. It's going to cost us a thousand ducats to embrace. I think we're going to have to take it really early. It's going to take too long. We'll wait for the 2000 and then we'll do it. Truce of Denmark is over. And we're at the military cap. Everything is conspiring against us. And we really don't need to be paying for that castle there. Anything else we can get rid of? No, I want to keep all the ones on the borders with them and through there. I think the rest of them are good. <clears throat> All right, uh, what do you spend military points on? You spend it on legitimacy, and you spend it on development. I'm going to knock this up to about a 50. 
eventually, I guess. We have converted another nation, can't unify our culture. Sweden won excess, hopefully they're going for their independence. No, because they're at war, aren't they? No, they just want to get through, they don't want to break out yet. Alright, we want somebody else to back Sweden, preferably Russia. And we should keep an eye on England. Truce with Sweden has ended. Uh, keep an eye on Castile. Of course we have Russia. <laughs> Access through Lithuania can be revoked now. Cancel. Access. Alright, so they're all good. And then we've got the alliance with Ryzan still. Well, we can well and truly get rid of them. They're our only ally. Let me call this in against the Ottomans or something annoying. Rikovic <clears throat> has another heir anyway, so buy that up and then we'll just dissolve that alliance. It was only worthwhile while they had the PU over Russia. Ottoman's opinion comes up. They're our rival. Vaden have stolen Oldenburg, I think. I won't accept the demand. Recently forced them to return territory. Alright, so I'm not going to ask. Lucas have colonialism. Sex of Lauenberg have colonialism. I uh, should be using diplomats for something else. Alliance offer from Brandenburg. No. No, we can't have them as an ally. Gaining 15. Alright, we need to get this money quickly. So we'll turn off the armies. We will mothball the forts, because none of these are particularly high, and we dealt with the rebels up there. Gith Martian want our army. Uh, let's just go revest gas. Oh, the Ragusans. Are they still guaranteed by the Ottomans? Alright, Morocco is nearly gone. Aragon's coming into Tunis nicely. Bavaria is going to attack Salzburg. Um, that is fine. As long as I don't completely destroy them, I think we should be able to demand a province back. If they do take Salzburg, they should give it up quite happily. And we can fabricate... And another claim over here. Uh, Trakai is on the other end. Let's go with that. So he uses Drasta and Trakai. Try and separate them from Poland. Which, I guess, is another one we should be going to. Put a spider work on Poland. Now we already have these. Uh, should have been still building up on France as well. Just for the siege speed if we go to war with them. Unholt has done stuff. New Pope, Castile, stole it from us. But they lifted the, the excommunication. And we still have some papal influence. But that should start coming up nicely now. Let's go improving relations with the Pope. Get it up as far as we can. Poland claim bells. Excommunication is gone. Brings that up. Castile declared war on the Mamluks. Alright. Why? Conquest of Jufra. Oh, because Aragorn's there. Okay, well, they're going to be pretty wrecked from both sides. At least it's our allies coming through there. Portugal is doing Charca. I don't think we can even see them. No. Castile, let's go for a crusade against Charca. Seriously. Truce of the Ottomans is over. It appears King Karl is kind-hearted. Means we're about to turn 40. 23rd of October. Truce of Russia has ended. That's fine. 
So war exhaustion down, spilly cost modifier down, idea cost down. Next idea group is at 14. A couple of months and we can start knocking out tech. Which is up to 12 by the looks. Ottomans are on 12, on 10, oh god, 6, 9, 10. Lithuania is going to get wrecked with, um, what do you call it? Corruption. Hmm. Right, mission fulfilled. We have built a treasury. So that's our inflation reduction we needed. Next one on that path is build manufactories, which isn't going to happen for a long time. We will embrace this. Only 820 ducats now. Knock out a nice number of techs. Uh, 11, 12, 11. Good. And then <clears throat> superior units. Reform Galaglas are the same. Black Knights and let's go Pulverins. And then we're going to reactivate the forts. Start paying the army. Probably want to deal with the corruption as well. Point 0.1 per year. To sort of get a start on it. We're ahead of time in Diplo. Admin tech's gonna be some time. Um, mm -hmm. When can we switch this? 1550. Alright, five years will probably do a switch. Although our air is really good. But then so is this guy. Hmm. Poland no longer exists as a rival. Poland is no longer a valid rival. Which means we eclipse them and. Steel or England? No. Get rid of the trade embargo. When we have somebody free. Come back from a neighbour that we want to declare war on. Alright, converted Dalmatia. Got rid of the reformed Centre of Reformation. So we'll start dealing with them when we can. And what we're we doing? Revoking that one. Alright. So, Papal Influence now, 8 per year, and that should still be climbing as we improve this further. Nope, that's maxed out. Hmm. Can't get an alliance with them because the trust is low. We'll just be friendly anyway, though. Alright, recall from the Pope. We'd like to take out Savoy. I think we need to find a way to get rid of these centers of reformation. That's really the big deal. All right, let's have a proper look then. Nuremberg, allied with Lorraine and Nassau. Lorraine borders us. They are allied with France. So if we do it, we we'll declare on them, co France, bring in Castile and England to that war. And the other one was Hamburg. Ryzen seeds to Chernikov. Jesus. Alright. Good thing we got rid of Ryzen. Okay, so he is only allied with Bremen. Bremen's a free city, so we can't attack them. But they're allied with Flanders and Holland. Who are both in the Empire, both wrong religion. He is guaranteed by England. He is allied with Denmark. We can't fabricate on him because we need to go through Brabant. So we're going to have to ignore that Centre of Reformation for a while. England's conversion to Anglicans nearly complete as well. <clears throat> Alright. Next war, he's got Savoy. Next war, I think, will be France. Brabant, Mantua. Wasn't, no, Brabant's the one that's in the way. But then Lorraine, he's got Scotland. Uh, yeah, Scotland's going to end in this one. If England, separate piece. 